In this video I'll be showing you how you can make your own MIDI file and import it into, Synthes into Synthesia. But the first thing you want to do is make sure you have a driver for your keyboard. And depending on your keyboard type, you'll, it'll dip it varies. So I have a Yamaha. So the first thing you want to do is go to Yamaha Drivers. Spell it wrong. USB to MIDI driver. You want to click it and um, find whichever one you have. Well, it, it'll be the first one if you have Windows 7 or if you have a PC. If if you have a Mac, it'll be uh, right here. So once you download it, you have to install, plug in your keyboard with your MIDI wire, and it'll, it'll be ready. So that, that's very important. If you don't do this, it won't work. And it won't work even with Synthesia or anything that includes Fruit Loops or whatever. Now, to download Mixcraft 4, that's the program that we're going to be using to make our MIDI file. I'm going to head over to uh, Google and type in Mixcraft. We the first one right here. Click download and go ahead and download it. It'll take about five minutes to download. Your computer screen should turn uh, a green color, but don't worry, that's just part of the setup. So after download it, it will look like this, a green, as I said. Go ahead and launch it. Now after you launch it, you click um, this one and connect your uh, your wire to your computer, your MIDI wire. When you click it, when you connect it, it's a, it'll detect it and it'll say OK. But it won't. It will not detect it if you have not installed the driver from your Yamaha or whatever company you have. It also your um, driver. If you buy your C, your um, keyboard brand new, uh, the the uh, CD will come with your dr uh, keyboard. You can get it from there. Now to record your own song. Notice how I'm playing right here. I'm really playing on my keyboard. But it also plays on my computer. If I turn on the volume on my keyboard, you can hear it. If you want to turn the volume to maximum, just drag that to there and drag that all the way up. And then you can hear it. You can even change the instrument by um, going right here. And there's all these different types of instruments you can play, like a flute. Then you can choose one. But I'm going to stick to piano right now. Where is it? Stick to piano. So to uh, start recording your MIDI, if if it doesn't connect, you go to sound or uh, mix and it's MIDI reset. That will connect your keyboard to it. Just to make your MIDI, click record and start playing. I showed you I'm blue. Now to um, click s file save MIDI as file. Mi MIDI file. I'm going to tell it's blue. Click save. Click yes. And I'll start playing a MIDI file. Now you can minimize this and go ahead. It's right here. And go ahead and launch uh, Synthesia. Now after you um, select your, click enter and start playing. Let's just start playing. I just made this. This is mine. My own. So that's how you do it. That's how you make your own MIDI file. 